The first time we met, she propositioned me. She seemed so sure. I was sure. I still am. Could you help me with something? You will not tell anyone about this. Well, hello there. We're going to call you Lily. <laughs> the Danish girl tells the extraordinary true story of Lily Elba. Lily was a transgender pioneer at a time where no one acknowledged the concept of a transgender woman or a transgender man. Is there something you'd like to tell me? There's something you'd like to know. And the film follows this incredible marriage between Einar and Gerda, which created this loving space in which this transition was possible. I want to sketch you. <laughs> Lily. Both of them are artists. Both of them are very open-minded and playful. Sit! So they start to experiment. At the beginning, it is a game. But, God, it's an exciting game. Lily is beginning to have the environment in which she can discover her femininity. We should go out tonight. Give them something different. It's Lily. <laughs> You're exquisite. You're different from most girls. I feel I'd need to ask your permission before I kissed you. There's obviously this very serious undertow for Lily. There's a lot more going on than Gerda realizes. Exactly what happened last night. That there, was a, there was a moment when I was just Lily, and I think that he could see that. But Lily doesn't exist. We were playing a game. Something changed. It's really the beginning of an enormous shift, something that they try to suppress, but that becomes impossible. Are you all right? The film poses the question, what do you do if the person you love changes? And what's so inspiring about it is Gerda keeps loving Lily throughout, and it showcases a kind of generosity and compassion of love that is truly rare. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. Almost 100 years ago, these two wonderful women challenged each other, challenged society, were pioneers in many ways. I do believe I can help your husband, but the surgery has never been attempted before. You are my whole life. It could kill you. It's my only hope. It's a love story between two people, but above all, I think it's a love story of learning how to love yourself. You love I know, and I have to let it go. For me, this film is a reassertion of the profundity of love. What an extraordinary thing it can be, how it is not defined by gender, by sexuality, by anything. It's something other. It's about the soul. I love you because you're the only person who made sense of me, who made me possible. Mm -hmm.